Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Simply Daisy. So today I'm going to show you how to make this scarf. I used the same simple, quick pattern, great for beginners, and I made it three different ways. So I'll show you how to make that baseline pattern, and then a few different ways that you can make it special for you. So it's a great gift for the holiday season, and just a great pattern for beginners. And so this tutorial is for beginners, so I'm going to go through things pretty slowly. Feel free to pause and rewind when you need to, and more intermediate crocheters, feel free to skip ahead to the parts that are important to you. So let's get started. You will need yarn. I will be using 100% acrylic yarn for the tutorial and I'll go through the other types of yarn later. This recommends a 5.5mm crochet hook, but I like to use a crochet hook that's a little bit smaller so I'll be using a 5mm hook. You will also need scissors, a sewing needle, and a ruler. For the first scarf, I used 100% acrylic yarn, which is durable but not as soft as the others. I did it in brown, tan, and cream, and I made the number of rows random so it doesn't look uniform. For the next scarf, I used 80% wool and 20% acrylic yarn, which is much warmer and a bit softer. I crocheted this one lengthwise, so I started with one really long chain and only did a few rows. This last one is by far the softest. It's 58% acrylic and 42% nylon, so it's very soft and light and I chose a yarn that changes color as you crochet, so I didn't have to change color at any time. So to start, let's make our slip knot. There are lots of different ways to do this, but this is how I do it. I hold the yarn in my left hand with these bottom three fingers. In my right, I grab the middle with my pointer finger and thumb. And then in my left, I grab the tail with my pointer finger and thumb. So with my right, I'm gonna kind of twist upwards to create this loop and this cross. Then I put those two fingers through the hole and we're gonna grab the tail and make sure to hold firmly with your left hand so none of this is gonna slip and then just pull through and the result should be a loop that you can put your crochet hook in and then adjust how big the loop is. So as a beginner, it's really important to create good tension. So we want this to be tight, but has a little bit of looseness so there's some movement and it can move up and down easily. So before we chain, let's also talk about how to hold our crochet hook. So my left hand, I hold this working yarn that's connected to your ball of yarn. I like to hold it in my bottom three fingers, point with my pointer finger, and then wrap the working yarn around my pointer finger so we can kind of move through. And then with my thumb and my middle finger, I grab what I'm working on. So usually right at the base of where we are working. Then in my right hand, I hold the crochet hook kind of like a knife. I put my thumb and my pointer finger on an indent. Usually crochet hooks have something like this, so they're easy to hold on to. So I hold right there and hold it kind of like a knife. And so this right hand is really important for rotating your crochet hook. We're going to be doing that throughout. And then your left hand is important for the tension on this working yarn. So to get started, we'll make a chain. And this chain is going to be the width of our scarf, like the short end. So to chain, we face our hook away. I put it on the left side and rotate with my right towards my left hand and then pull downwards to pull through. So again, face it away, put it on the left hand side. This is called yarning over. We're putting the yarn over the hook and then we'll pull through. We pull through that loop. And so the result is this little V. So one V is one chain. So we're gonna keep doing that. Yarn over and pull through. So I've done three so far. So now I'm gonna continue until my chain is the width of my scarf. I also need to make sure that the chain is an even number of stitches. So I know that I want mine to be a little bit wider. It'll be 11 inches and I planned this out before. So I know it's gonna be 44. And I made sure that that was an even number so that later on the pattern will go smoothly. So continue chaining until you have the width of your scarf and make sure it's an even number. As you can see with my ruler, my chain is about 11 inches long, so we're gonna start on the first row. And the first thing we're gonna do is chain three additional chains beyond that width. So yarn over and pull through, one chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. So we have three more chains. Next, we're gonna do a half double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook. So we have one, two, three, four in this fifth chain. We're going to yarn over, yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out. So we have three loops on our hook, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. There we go. 
And you can see we've kind of created one of those square holes, so that's why we added those extra chains and then did a half double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook. So next we're going to chain one, and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain, and this is the second chain, we'll insert into the second. So yarn over, we have one, two, insert, yarn over, come out, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So this, we made another one of those square holes. So the chain creates a gap, and then we do the half double crochet two chains away from it, so it creates this little hole. So again, yarn over, pull through to chain, and then a half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, one stitch, the second stitch from the hook. Insert, yarn over, come out. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And we're just going to repeat this process until the end of our chain. So again, chain one, skip two chains, one, two, yarn over and do a half double crochet. So one, two, here we go. Now I'm towards the end of my chain and I just did a half double crochet and I have two chains left. If you only have one chain left, make sure you go back through and count your chains. Make sure you're skipping one chain in between half double crochet. Make sure that your original chain is an even number and then you added only three chains on at the beginning over here and inserted into the fifth chain from the hook. So, because we want to insert into that last chain for a last half double crochet. So we're going to chain one, skip the one closest to the hook and insert into that last chain. So now we finished our first row and it's going to get a lot easier in the second row. We're going to chain three and then flip our work. Next, we're going to do a half double crochet into this hole here. So we yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out with three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now we've created another one of those holes right there. The two chains counted as a half double crochet kind of gives us that length and then we have the chain one to create that gap. So next we're just going to keep repeating the same process of chain one and then doing a half double crochet into the next hole. And so this is why it's really great for beginners because you're inserting into these larger spaces which is a lot easier than inserting into one of these stitches trying to figure out which V exactly to insert into. So for beginners, inserting into a larger space is a lot easier, and it's also a lot quicker to make uh, the scarf. So for maybe an intermediate, you might be able to zip through it a lot faster because you're inserting into a larger hole instead of finding the exact space to insert into. So just repeat this all the way across, doing a chain and a half double crochet into each of those holes. And there we go, we finished the second row. So as, as you can see, we've created that first row, we had our base chain, we created our half double crochet with one chain, and then a half double crochet into the second chain from the hook, which created those spaces, and then in the second row we inserted into those spaces, which makes it really simple for beginners to insert and easily go through this row. So you can continue this process until you have the scarf length that you want. You can also change colors, which I'll show you how to do really quick. So what I like to do, just pretty simply, is to create one chain, pull with my crochet hook so that there's a little bit of length, take your scissors and cut, and then pull on that tail to tighten. Then what you're going to do, take your crochet hook, insert into that first half double crochet. So you see the half double crochet and there's a V for it. You're going to insert under the V, Grab your next color, put it around the hook, and kind of hold the working yarn and the tail, oops, hold the working yarn and the tail around the hook, and then pull with your right through. We just want to get it under that V, basically, and then I'm just going to create a knot. Some people have other ways to do this, so feel free to do it however you like. This, I just feel, is pretty secure and simple. So then you're going to insert under the V, the same spot that this purple yarn is tightened around. Then you have your purple working yarn, 
and you're going to yarn over to get the loop on your hook. Then you're going to continue in the same way that you would for the next row. You're going to yarn over and create three chains, flip your work, and do a half double crochet into this first hole. And then keep repeating, chain one, and then half double crochet. And then at the end, you'll just have to weave in your ends. So just keep crocheting as many rows as you like until you have the desired length of your scarf. Feel free to use whatever colors or types of yarn that you want to use and make it all your own. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.